start again. Shana Tova and Shanui Tov. May this not only be a good year, but a good transformation. And it's no accident that the word for transformation in Hebrew and the word for year are so deeply connected. Um, we are in an earthquake of transformation and we have scarcely recovered, not even recovered, from one when another comes to shake our world all over again. Uh, I actually had written before the latest transformations, the latest earthquakes. I've written a book called Dancing in God's Earthquake, the Coming Transformation of Religion. And even having finished it just six months ago, the world is already more transformed than it was six months ago, with more earthquakes shaking it. Uh, I'd like to read a, a prayer or uh, a commentary. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I think it fits uh, when we come together to celebrate Shana Tova Shanui Tov. It's called, I Can't Breathe, We Can't Breathe, Earth Can't Breathe and you'll understand why. I can't breathe again and again with gun or chokehold. Police have stolen the breath of black Americans. The police are not merely police, for they hold the national authority to use violence on behalf of the nation, to serve us all, protect us all, to use violence only when it frees us all. When instead they subjugate the black community, they implicate us all. They make us all subjugators and their misdeeds have stirred a great multiracial uprising against racism. We can't breathe. All humanity is choking from a virus that invades our lungs. We've left no space for other species and the virus leaps into our lives. And then when our rulers ignore the danger and pretend it isn't there, it becomes still worse. Choking our societies, our jobs, our businesses, our democracy, our lives. Earth can't breathe. All life on Earth depends on interbreathing. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide, breathe out oxygen. Animals breathe in oxygen, breathe out carbon dioxide. Our interbreathing is the breath that keeps all earth alive. In Hebrew, nishmat kol chai, tevarech et shimcha, yah, Eloheinu. The breath of all life praises your name, for your name is in truth, what whispers all life. Yeah. Yeah. Is our God, not the God of Jews alone, not the God of humans alone, but the God of all life breathing. But too much CO2 is what we call the climate crisis. It chokes our breathing. Earth can't breathe. We are taught, you shall not take my name in empty 
heart. Every breath we take is itself the name, part of that great breath that is the Holy One. You shall not rob my people of my name, my breath. We must breathe. So that brings together several of the chokings, the earthquakes that we're living through, a time of the transformation of a new year and a new world. We stand where our forebears stood on the seventh day of Passover, according to tradition, between Pharaoh's army and the Red Sea. Pharaoh's army meant, go back, go back, go back to normal life. You were slaves, be slaves again. And you'll have those uh, onions and garlics that you seem to love. The only other choice is to go forward into this rolling, roiling sea. Uh, who knows what? Are we prepared to make the choice our forebears made? Not to go back into normal life, subjugated in many, many ways, but instead to go forward into the great unknown? We didn't know what the sea would do. We surely didn't know what the wilderness would be. But we took the chance. We aim towards Sinai, an attempt to shape what Martin Luther King, so many thousand years later, called the beloved community, loving and beloved. So that's our choice, the whole human race this time. The story may only be a story, but it's a story of incredible depth. It's a story about power on a muck, and it's a story about the courage to choose the unknown rather than Pharaoh's army. So will we choose to breathe? to breathe in accord with the great breath of all life, to make sure that there is no community on earth, no race, no religion, no sexuality or gender identity that is denied its breath? Are we prepared to say that there needs to be space for other species? so that our own breath is not rubbed out by a virus jumping from a species we have given no room to? And are we prepared to say that the planet needs to breathe and the CO2 we are pouring into it that keeps much of our lives and not only our own human lives, but much of the life that sustains all life on the planet, including ours, keeps it from breathing. Are we prepared to say no more, no more pouring deadly CO2 into the planet? How do we do that? These transformations are all difficult and puzzling and uncertain. Here we are, a new year, a new, a deeply new transformation. Will we learn? Will we teach ourselves how to do it? And that's the great question for our turning of the year. 
תמיד ראשון ראשון, שנה טובה, שינוי טוב, a good year, a really good year, will depend on our beginning, a good transformation.